Hello there guys and welcome to video number two of working with classes. All I've done is I've just deleted everything from the previous video. Okay, um, because we're going to now look at the similarities between classes and the structures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add into my project, I am going to add a class. And this class I'm also going to create a creature. Just to show you all the similarities obviously. And um, once again I am going to try and and uh, get the same setup as with the structure. So I'm going to go a public, um, and what was the number of legs? As an integer, okay, and public length as integer, okay. So um, just by doing this, we have literally just recreated the structure. For instance, um, the m my insect as a new creature. Okay, exactly the same. Um, my insect dot and because I have created a public um, a public uh, declaration, you can now see that this declaration is available. And this is where the, the, the power of classes now come in, is because I can all just change my public to private. And all of a sudden, they are gone. So I can restrict other programmers from using the information on my class. Okay? Um, so I'm going to create another very important item on classes, and those are properties. And I am going to change uh, this declaration to a uh, CC. The reason why I put a C there is because I'm the developer of this class, and I would know that C length is a, um, a, a declaration which is um, only available to the class. Okay, so I'm going to go uh, property, and I'm going to remove that, and just say the new property would be number of legs and that would be an integer I'm going to put the number of legs in here and I'm going to hide this number of highlighting. Okay, so um, Let's just quickly look at what a property is. A property passes the value to and from the declaration. Okay, so here we have a set and end set. This um, section of code passes any value that you put into a property. It passes the value to the declaration. Okay, so if you say number of legs is 100, it'll take the 100 from here. Okay and place it into our class number of legs which is the declaration and if I wanted to find out exactly how much the number of legs are then the property would tell us how much it is and therefore it will return the declaration okay so I'm going to create another uh, property so that's going to be private property and that will be the length as an integer let's uh, return the C length and C length would equal to the value okay so I have one public property and I have one private property so if I go to my form you can now see that I can have a restricted property as well because number of legs is public and the private one doesn't even show up so I can even change the public and the private views um, of our properties. I'm going to change both to private, okay? Because I still don't want people to add and remove information to my creature. What I want to do though is have um, a function that does that to restrict people only to do a certain thing. So for instance, I'm going to create um, a sub and the sub would be 
let's say a public sub and that's called um, create insect okay and I am going to ask this person to put in the uh, number of legs okay that'll be as an integer and also the uh, length Bible length as integer okay and then I'm going to just say um, number of legs equals <laughs> number of legs okay and um, the length uh, there's a spelling mistake there length equals length <laughs> again okay which means that um, a person can now use my sub which is create insect okay and they're gonna say the number of legs equals 100 and the length is 2 inches okay and um, that restricts people from adding and removing properties and certain values okay due to the fact that I can put in any code into a sub that would restrict the values passing backwards and forwards and I'll show you another reason why that's important um, first I just want to point out that um, you can actually put public okay and at the moment anyone in the whole application would be able to use um, insect can't spell today anyone in the whole application would be able to use my insect for instance if they were on another form they would be able to say um, them the count of legs um, would equal as integer would equals to the my insect um, and then we would create a function that will return the number of legs okay so yeah it's um, very easy to pass information between forms by using a class um, another thing I would like to point out is something that is called an enumeration Okay, enumeration is, um, I'm going to create a public enumeration, okay, and I'm going to call this, um, let's say, bug type, okay, and I want people only to be able to pick between the bug types, because um, it'll be a preset value, so I'm going to say the first bug type would be, um, let's say, um, beetle, Okay, um, between beetles, um, let's say worms, or whatever um, other things I want to put in my enumeration. So if I then put another thing here that says bivol, okay, bug type as, and now I can just go bug type you will now see when someone actually programs with this and I put my comma it will give them the option to pick only between the two values that I've indicated okay so they can either select a worm or they can select a beetle okay so in this this section that insect is a centipede and therefore it will be a worm okay it will then post this information back to the class and I can then say um, private um, C bug type equals and once again the enumeration which equals uh, um, sorry as as a bug type okay and then our bug type equals bug type ok 
Okay, sorry, that'll be a C bug type. Okay, so you can now see that we can pass in thing, um, pass in uh, um, a certain pre predetermined value into our class and um, manipulate the information here. Another thing that we can put on classes is functions. So I can put um, a public public function and uh, let's say return a number of legs. Okay, and that will be as an integer. Okay, we're going to go return and um, we're going to return the property of number of legs. Okay, so that if someone once again goes to use our code, we're going to say. Um, my number, so it's a dim my num as number of, sorry, as my insect the num as, sorry, as integer, I'm not concentrating okay, um, now my num is an integer and that would equals to my insect and give us the number of legs which is now a function okay there you guys see that it's a function okay public function and we have created an insect which is now public sub so you can see that we can actually now restrict people by saying for instance they can have um, only a certain type of bug type they can only add and they have to have the certain values they can only get information that I want you to get so a class is very important when you're working with other developers, when you're working um, even by yourself and you forget um, certain things like, oh, okay, sorry, I'm only supposed to add the following enumeration or I can only use insert this because once you start creating very complicated um, classes and these classes might go to extract user information from a database, then it would be much easier for everyone if you just type in dim user as new user um, user dot get password or compare password or whatever and then your class would actually go and fetch that information for you okay so classes gives you a lot more um, functionality than the structures and that's why classes or object orientated um, classes are very important it allows you to create faster better strongly type code which have their own properties functionalities you can display them publicly you can display them um, local uh, privately you can even do um, public share where you create two classes that share a common goal for instance you can have uh, creating credentials you can have um, credentials for the login um, which then shared by the login class and something like that okay so um, I think that'll be it for the classes section I've got a couple of other videos to make so um, I'll see you in the other videos cheers